Hey everyone, welcome to another Zero Evidence run. Let's hop into Edgefield Road and let's see if we can figure out that ghost. I'm curious who it's gonna be. Alright, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. Okay, objectives are doable because I need perfect because games. Here, <laughs> So, as you can see, I don't have full tier 3 yet, but partially tier 3, which is good. So, yeah, I'm gonna set up everything and let's hop in. Okay, let's go. I've double clicked, sorry. <laughs> that was me with the candle. Okay, we got the breaker in the garage. Sorry, I had to wait for a second unfortunately okay no bony pants let's check for a hiding spot now come on yeah we got a hiding spot next to the breaker that's perfect and that's where <laughs> you are quite lucky if that happens oh hey bony pants hey there okay so we I was about to say did you turn off the lights wait a second what it threw something but I don't know what seems like ghosty is right here that was my candle oh, I mean I can take care of the bone right away why not Perfect, everything is here. Ghosty is here, Boney is here. We don't need this light. We can turn on this light. The breaker already? Now that was quick. Wait, did you turn off a light behind me? I've heard a light switch. Okay, you're not an not a gin, not an oni, and not a shade, it seems. Yes, you've turned off this light. Are you a mare or something? Okay, so we have to be careful here. Oh, you've blown out this candle too. Interesting. We have to be damn careful. Yeah, here we go with the breath. Okay, uh, yeah, I think we already know. Okay, tip, tip. Mm, let's bring in a sensor. It's good for you, eh? Because we got the front door right there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet. It's quite active right away, so I gotta be careful here. We All we know is not an Oni, not, not a Wraith. Okay. Good. I don't think it's a Mimic because I've peeked through the door in the beginning with the with the tier 3 camera you can do that but I'm gonna place this anyways to watch this door and this door <clears throat> because it could be a UA uh, for this will you love to turn them off right wait you've turned it back on you're not a mare thank you for letting me know ghosty okay we need a sound sensor here to listen for the doors I'm gonna take those salt photos later we need this back in that other room. I mean, it could be a stalking ghost and it's just constantly on top of me, which could happen too. I'm too scared to drop my smart stick. Sorry, guys. I think I'm gonna hold on to it for now. It's gonna be a bit uh, walking back and forth here. I can put another sensor here so we can track it a little better. I should leave the camera near the salt. Okay, let's put some more salt over here, like here. It just threw something. So, are you gonna follow me? Huh? We need some more salt uh, near the garage to see if it uh, stalks us. Oh, you've thrown that painting. But this could actually be the ghost room. We can place another one here in the middle. Okay, so that way we can track it a little bit better. Uh, we're gonna need this. 
Now it's not doing much, but you saw it, it has turned off a light and turned it back on again. Okay. It's, this is dangerous. I hope it doesn't hunt right away. I'm gonna hold on to the lighter because uh, the smart sticks you can pick up even if you are panicking, but uh, the lighter is too difficult to pick up because it's just way too small. So what I usually do, I just mark everything because the breaker um, could be far away so I can even see in the dark what's going on. So I mark the hiding spots, I... I... Uh, mark an area where I'm like a safe zone you know it stopped walking completely that's a bit weird oh I didn't want to do that I thought I had a smudge <laughs> so the other EMF is gonna remain here because I have to take some photos later on we need this we need we get the second camera that's good let's leave that around here we can also take pictures out of this. So now we just have to figure out the ghost and survive somehow, right? I mean, I could leave this here. It doesn't make much sense, I know, but we could do this. Okay, um, we leave one camera here. We're gonna grab the... Oh, we, I can't pick it up yet. I'm full. Yeah, because of the smudge. This is gonna be our backup uh, smudge. I can turn off my headlight for now because... Oh, thank you. I hope that worked. Yes, it did. It threw something over here. Oh, it has blown out this, but... I don't know how long this is gonna last. So, is this here? This is... Uh, I'm not sure. Is this the ghost room? Ah, here we go. This is the actual ghost room. But I want to keep an eye on that uh, door. Because the ghost is walking around a lot in there. So we can leave it like this. Okay, so it has been roaming around here a lot. Interesting. Leave that here near the crucifix. knocked on a window but I don't know window pictures are not safe so I won't take them ah, can I remember this the first three one two three please tell me it counts oh we already got everything nice okay it threw something okay it blew out the candle again. Do we need the crucifix? No, we don't need it, so why waste it? I'm gonna put this here so it won't hunt from here. And that's totally fine. I mean, I can bring it back in case I need it for... I can put this here. Just in case I need it for, like... Um, on your testing and stuff. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here and see if the ghost roams towards me. This way I can roll out the banshee and also you can hear on the power mic like UA do interactions or twin interactions. Also the sensor so you know where the ghost is gonna be at because they also give a beeping sound. So yeah, let's be a bit patient. I'll be right back. Okay, we, we got our first whisper on the power mic. Oh, I can leave this here in case it does a ghost event here so I can test for phantom. Oh, I forgot. Also need a little faulty highway here to check for poltergeist. So just throw some items along the ghost way so that you can uh, watch it throw the items. Hmm, you've roamed all the way over here, but not to the garage yet. Okay, so since we got a whisper right now, we hop out and check our sanity. And we're gonna sit in the lights for one minute. So we are at 
83. It was 80 the lowest, right? 80. Okay, nothing suspicious on the activity board yet. So between 80 and 83, let's stay in the light. And if our sanity drains, even though we're standing in the light, because it shouldn't drain, then we get a Moroi, because the Moroi can uh, drain your sanity faster. And we can also watch that sensor and salt in case the ghost roams towards us, but actually it doesn't feel like a banshee and for sure it's not a shade. That ghost event was way too early at 90%. That's way too high. Okay, so what else could it be or not? We don't have any more information. I don't think it's a mimic because there was no op, but I'm gonna check that before I leave. Okay, you've killed the breaker again. You love to kill the breaker. Don't say it's a Hantu now. I've had Hantus touching the breaker only once or zero times even during a complete uh, 30 minutes mission. And I've had, I don't know, any other ghost uh, turning off the breaker all the time. Like it wanted the breaker to be off, but it was not a Hantu. So yeah, don't rely on that. Also don't rely on like, oh, singing ghost event or light breaking event. Don't rely on those. Rely on the behavior. I don't think they sound like two interactions. Another whisper over there. That was an ambient sound, okay. So yeah, we've been here for a while. It hasn't roamed towards us. I think I can rule out the banshee this way. I haven't heard a single sensor being triggered. So it's the whole time in the room. So let's see, what do we have? Sanity is still the same, no more way. More way, ruled out, Banshee, let's rule it out. Oh, you're, you're throwing stuff in the kitchen now, but it may interact through the wall. Don't think it's a twin because of that. There are a lot of throws going on here. I can put one in here so I can see if it leaves. Was that a th single throw or a multiple throw? This plate, okay. This plate. You like those plates and the knife. Okay, here you go. Maybe it just roamed in here or it interacted through the wall. It could happen. I won't give you the knife. Forget about that. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so now the plan is to drain our sanity down to... Okay, we don't have to drain it down to 60% because uh, the mare is out already. It has turned on a light. That wasn't me before. I turned off the light and turned it back on. So a mare is not able to do that. I'm not sure if it could be twins. We can listen a bit for two interactions maybe. Perfect. You're not a phantom. So this way we can rule out some ghosties. By the way, this event doesn't mean the ghost stalked us. It just means that it was near to us, maybe in the hallway or over here. And now it has to walk back. It's still in here. It's still around here. Come on, go back to your room. The sword pushes back the ghost. That's the problem. You see, it's still there. You see, you see the salt and the sensor, the ghost is being pushed back by the salt, so it has a hard time to get back to its room now. Oh, it touched the door. But it was a normal touch, as you can see. Only one door touch, and that other EMF was the candle over there, I think. You can take a picture of that, for sure, like that, if the, the, that journal isn't full already. Okay, ghosty. Um, still trying to get back to its room but it can't because of the salt it keeps pushing it back so that's why it's just hanging around here now so if this this was a banshee it would have come back at one point after being pushed back the whole time to my room <laughs> so you have to keep that in mind too right the tier 3 salt pushes back the ghost if it's not hunting and if it's hunting it slows the ghost so it has actually two functions Okay, interesting. Another ghost event here. The first one was airball, and as you can see, we were able to rule out a lot of ghosties already. 
So what you can also do to rule out the UA, I've placed one of those, I'm gonna turn this off, I've placed one of the sensors here, so after we have smudged the ghost, we can uh, watch the sensor and see if the ghost leaves the room within 90 seconds, because if it does, we can rule out the UA. So yeah. We have tested for Phantom, we don't need the photo camera anymore, it's for sure not a Banshee because it's it stays there, right? It just did a ghost event here. So let's wait for a bit, drain our sanity. I'll be right back. Okay, so far we have passed the 75 uh, threshold and 72 roundabout. This is the hunting threshold for um, they on Rio, also demon, but I don't think you're a demon. We can ignite some candles and see if it tries to hunt. What? Okay, it did something here. Maybe it is my lighter again? That was weird with the EMF. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see so far we were able to rule out almost half of the ghost not uh, maybe one third so yeah now we drain our sanity a bit more so a raiju could hunt now it's at 65 percent but it just keeps on whispering so maybe we're gonna have a normal hunting ghost at 50 percent sanity or even a late hunting ghost it's good that we got the hiding spot right there and uh, the breaker too, so we can keep the breaker and the lights in there on. If it does its first hunt, we can just hide there, won't lose any sanity during the hunt and we'll know um, about the hunting threshold. If it just hunts now and we hear immediately, oh it's a hunt who, or a oh, revenant, or maybe a moray, but moray is already out. Or maybe right you, if we can hear it right away then uh, we don't have to hide or anything you know but i haven't heard any two interactions or anything suspicious yet okay it's walking back as and forth in its room these were the sensors you have just seen so you can keep track of the can keep track of the ghost even um if you are in a safe distance also have a crucifix you saw it it did a ghost event over there before so it can do a ghost event here too so be careful with that have a crucifix nearby have your good old friends the sensors nearby so you know when the ghost leaves that's the way to do it so let's check our sanity now let's see how much we have lost because we have to drain it now we don't have cursed possessions which increases the multiplayer but you have to be a bit patient I've set it to 150% drain, so we are almost at 50% and it still hasn't tried to hunt a single time, so I don't think we are dealing with an early hunting ghost. But on Rio could still be possible, because um, it, don't have, it doesn't have to hunt after blowing out three candles. It can also just say, no, I don't want to, I don't want to, not today. <laughs> So you have to test it when you are low sanity again with the candle. It's fortunately we got a candle in the ghost room itself, an infinite candle, so we can use that too. And yeah, let's just wait. It should be hunting soon if it's normal hunting range. Okay, it's dangerous what I'm doing here. Mm, that ambient sound just scared me because it could hunt any second. Yes, we are below 50. It hasn't tried to hunt at all. We could be dealing with a late hunter. We could be dealing with a Deokon because the shade is already out. A shade wouldn't be as active as this ghost was. We are at 40%. Also, this hallway is not secured, but yeah. That's gonna be totally my fault if I die there. <laughs> So we might be dealing with a Deochen. I got flashlights here that I so I can grab them. I don't want to turn on the lights in the ghost room now. That's the only room where you can loop Deochens here on this map. And yeah, let's hope I can juke it in the garage. 
As long as the lights are on, it's totally fine. But we are at 40 now and it hasn't tried to hunt. The lights are off in the ghost room and we know it's not a mare. So I think we might be dealing with the Deokan. So if it if it is Deokan, it should hunt now. Come on, ghosty. What was that? <laughs> it's a Deokan. How did I know this? Because the Johans hunt at 40% and they always find you. Oh my god, why are you crawling? I don't see you. God damn it. Do I have to smudge you? No, we have to get the sanity. Okay, turn on all the lights. We're gonna need them. I can put in a crucifix. Because if it's crawling, I don't like this with uh with the room here, you know. So yeah, I can you can leave on all your equipment when you got a deochen because the deochen, oh my god, that was quick. The deochen is going to find you anyways. <laughs> So we just have to drain our sanity. We can leave the lights off over there, but I want the lights to be on here. Because I need them. Okay. So now we have to somehow drain our sanity. We can also buy ourselves sometimes. Sometime if we smudge the ghost, it can also... Um, I mean, we are already at 40, right? The Jochen hunts at 40, so um, this might not take that long. walked into you and my crucifix here is gone. Damn it. I'm gonna stand on this one, but the lights are on here. Damn. Why are you doing this, ghosty? Hmm? Are you back? It's back there, right? Did it follow me or not? I don't know. I don't know where it is. I don't want it. It's not in here. that right that's how fast a day open is why do you have to crawl all the time and as you can see I hate it if you can't see it so I'm gonna smudge you it's even slower with the smudge <laughs> Okay, leave that on. Yeah, you can watch some TV. You have done good, Ghosty. Because we have to drain our sanity, right? But I want to hold a smudge just in case. Mm -hmm. And the lights, with the lights on, it's way better, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Objective done. And I don't want to deal with the crawling they open, you know? <laughs> so, bye, Ghosty. Have a nice time. Watch some cartoons. <laughs> Okay, easy the open. The open is always like a freebie for zero evidence. We have been lucky, but in the next one we might be not that lucky. Maybe, maybe we'll get another Gorio, and Gorio is the hard mode ghost for zero evidence, unfortunately. So back. Like prepared some jobs what? For Wait, why is it not a perfect game? I need perfect games. Are you fucking kidding me? Why not? Did I mess up a photo? Huh? I get the bone, so... What? Uh, the game is scamming me once more. I don't know what's going on. That's... Uh, the game is cheating, seriously. But yeah, that's a Deochen. That's... Um, I haven't unlocked anything new. That's how you figure out the open with zero evidence. So if you see the ghost doesn't hand at 50%, be prepared to encounter the open. And if it's quite active in the beginning it, and it does a lot of early ghost events, then it's for sure another shade. So I hope that helped you for your zero evidence run. See you in the next one. Bye.